Hi, welcome to another episode of the Let's Play. And I just wonder, though I'm entirely sure that I'm not the first person to actually think this, but why are these things even considered called Let's Plays? It's like, I am playing the game. Well, I'm not even playing the game at the moment because that's not how I roll. That's because I want to be that internet hipster who does unique things and don't, doesn't want to follow the crowd or something like that. But of course, we're all still sheep, but that's beside the point. I, I just feel like, why is it called a let's play if I am actually doing all of the playing and you are only doing the watching? I think at some point, I always used to wonder why do people even want to look at let's play videos. Of course, with my videos, I feel like there's a difference between, um, well, just, well, I, I think I've talked about this uh, earlier on in the series when I talked about the fact that my let's plays aren't like that kind of let's play that you watch for the person doing it. But it's also not about the game, because a very important aspect of a Let's Play is of course the game, and how much fun you have, and the gameplay, and all that. But in this case, it's more about how you kind of work with it. At least that's how I feel, that's I think how some people look at these videos, that I know some people also look at it uh, to enjoy it. I also feel like some of my videos just have that kind of teaching role, just kind of to show you guys how I work, so actually you can do that as well in Rollercoaster Coaster 3, and basically it's a learning process for all of it, for all of us of course, because I can get feedback, feedback on what I'm building on, but of course you, if you don't really know how to do certain things, you can always just look at my video and be like, ah, oh, that's how he does it, and then steal the, <laughs> no way, that, I, I'm not going to say it like that, honestly, um, be inspired. We're all just stealing different things. It's not well. It's, uh, I I have obviously stolen all of these techniques from somebody else. Of course, that's that's how being inspired works. It's just a euphemism for stealing things, and that's not bad. Honestly, it, it it's good that you. I, I just voice crack. I'm sorry about that, <laughs> but it's it's good. I guess stealing things because it just kind of makes the whole community move forward and enables everyone to kind of. Add that little, little building block to the entire castle that is Rollercoaster Second 3 knowledge and custom scenery and everything around it. But I am digressing, though I'm, I, I don't think it's really a bad thing because I don't really know what else to talk about and I kind of don't want to add time, uh, music to my time lapses at this point because I also feel like me actually talking about what I'm doing in the game is a unique selling point, though even though I'm not even talking about the game at this point. So <laughs> I might want to talk about the game. Yeah. But it's crashing at the moment. What is this? What are you doing? Uh, let me let me see if this, actually, this file actually... It, it doesn't want to work. Nice. So we're having some technical difficulties here. I'm gonna remove that thing from the project and just edit again. This is um, I am the professional man. Okay, which file? Which which one of you was it that kind of crashed here? Ah, oh, there we go. Got it to work again. So what am I do? Oh, I'm building that stupid thing. Oh, bugger. Why am I even? Okay. So yeah, basically what I thought with this. And no, I'm not even going to cut this out because I'm going to be, I mean, it's going to be all over it and I need to do everything all over again. It's not going to going to be um, timed correctly and it's just me sitting here commentating over the shit that's happening right now. But I, I, I just felt at that point like removing the little fountain over there and actually adding a little bed of flowers just because I can. And that's basically the explanation for that. Now, for this... I think the majority of this episode is just me doing foliage of this free fly coaster. Or at least adding extra foliage to it because I felt like, okay, I want to have some really dense foliage. And uh, that's for a couple of reasons, actually. Of course, I wanted to have that, that kind of feeling where you just nearly hit the foliage because near misses are always good. Though they are somewhat risky because a near miss can always turn into a miss. And a miss is really a miss, so to speak. It's not something that you want to have with your roller coaster. But then again, a near miss, the nearer the miss, the better it is. <laughs> okay, that was completely accidental. I, I, did, I did not plan that, but that just came out really well. Wow. And yeah, that's basically about that. And another thing, uh, another reason to just add dense foliage is a very obvious one. Well, it's not very obvious, but very sneaky in a sense. It's just to cover things up. It's just like, ah, 
I don't want to have that green ba background or eh, I don't want people to see the, the back of those buildings or eh, I don't want to s s people to see anything. So let's just add crazy dense foliage so nobody can see anything and ha 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 ha. Now my thing looks amazing even though the foliage is really the only thing that's good. And well, not necessarily like that, but you can cover things up. And in this case, I want to cover up the, that green grassland antlers kind of plane that just goes on because this is a roller coaster second three and yeah that, you just have to deal with that there are multiple ways of getting around that i wish there were like some um some like big walls that you could put over there hey maybe that's an idea i think there's there's been sky boxes and also i guess background boxes but like a wall that you can put along the the well the borders of the park that would actually have some nice mountains on it um the only problem that I see with that, of course, is the texture would be incredibly large. That would probably crash. Yeah, I don't know if that would actually work. I think uh, it's it's the same reason why no why there are no sky boxes. Okay, so basically what I'm doing right now is more foliage, and you might notice that I'm place that I'm placing beach grass. And I've talked about this before as well, but I'm not sure whether everyone watches all of my videos, and sometimes I rant in a really stupid way. But beach grass is something, well, that I've hated on very often, and it's something that nearly everyone uses at the moment. And I'd rather talk about that than the boring trees that I'm just placing right now, because that's just a tree line, and tree lines are there to cover, to basically block the site of those grasslands, so they're not very interesting. The grass, however, is, as in the beach grass that I'm adding everywhere. By the, by the way, the beach grass is that small little custom scenery set with uh, small grass patches that you kind of have in uh, on the beach. Yeah. So, what 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 the thing is with that set is that it's got it, it's getting more and more overused, and there's actually two camps within the community, kind of the people who overuse it and the people who hate it, and of course the people who don't know about it. But I'm just gonna leave those guys. Um, well, not I'm not gonna talk about. It. Okay, well I am talking about them right now. Okay, stop that. So basically. The thing with it is that many people are placing beach grass everywhere because there is no grass in Roller Coaster Second 3. So you logically, once you get the first grass you have, uh, go go mad and go, ah, grass, and place it everywhere. But it's not really meant for that. Now, what I've talked about this with some people and um, c came to the con conclusion that it is a great foliage blender. Uh, that's also what N7 said. And it, it works really well to place it around other, other foliage and around rocks, but not standalone as grass. So that's why I'm placing beach grass, and right now as well, around all of that foliage. It just kind of helps to blend the foliage into the grass, because otherwise you have uh, like sand, and then, whoa, rocks and trees, and there's no real, no real, well, diffusion between it. And the grass kind of adds that. The grass is kind of like, okay, we have sand over here, we have foliage over there, and we're just kind of going to mix that very smoothly with a bit of grass that's basically the idea and it's somewhat realistic i guess not in all cases but it looks cool so it might as well so that's the entire story about beach grass and i'm still placing beach grass everywhere this is uh the thing that's going on right now and is well that's actually I'm, i might as well call this the beach grass episode or something like that because i suck at names anyway I, I, I can't tell you how often I get comments about names, at least not in the comment section, but in Skype calls and privately and all kinds of things. And yeah, I must admit, I really suck at naming things. My The names of my episodes are so ridiculously stupid sometimes that oh, I'm kind of ashamed of it sometimes. But yeah, that, that just kind of happens, I guess. That happens when you're me and you're bad at naming things. And so... That's pretty much the story about that. And actually, speaking of naming things, I'm really bad at naming multiple things. Like, I remember that I, I had a coaster called Vanilla Coconut, and I was like uh, 13 at the time. And I was like, eh, sounds like a cool coaster name. I don't know why, it's, a, it's an entirely, it's, it's, it's such a stupid name. I have no clue why, how I even came up with that. And then somebody left a comment, and it was like, Vanilla coconut. That that kind of sounds like a nice ice cream flavor. I was like, damn right. That should that, that should be well, very nice actually. I reckon that vanilla coconut is actually a very good combination for ice cream flavors. So the moral of the story is basically that 
no matter how bad you are at naming coasters, you you can still be pretty good at design uh, coming up with ice cream f flavors, I guess. Though that was honestly not the the worst name that I've ever had. I've had cranberry twirl. Holy! Now that I come to think, this is the first time I've actually thought about this. But cranberry twirl also sounds like an ice cream flavor. Just like have like vanilla and cranberry and just kind of twirl it around like it's a McDonald's McFlurry or something like that. Oh, wow. Such ideas. And the last name was Eraser. I had no clue why I did that. I, I kind of started out, I was like, okay, I'm gonna call this this coaster er Mind Eraser. And then I did some research and it turned out that Mind Eraser was, also, was already a very common name. So I was like, okay, I don't want to be common. Uh, I'll just remove Mind. And then I uploaded it as Eraser. That was um, a big mistake. That was a stupid name. But in hindsight, it was good because we laughed at it a lot. So, but yeah, I'm not someone who finds names too in too important for a coaster. It's more about the looks or anything. Names, well, should be good. I guess it's cool when you have a cool name. But when you have a bad name, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to look at the park. But yeah, that's it for this episode. So thank you for watching and see you in the next one which I'll hopefully stay more on topic. <laughs> That'd be great. Okay, so bye.